Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know that we'll be using Beautiful Audio Editor for our sound editing instead of Audacity when you are stuck on a Chromebook. And if you haven't gone to the Chrome Web Store to add it as an extension, then please do that now. All you would do is type out Beautiful Audio Editor in your search bar and it'll show up like this. You can click on this app spot and read a little bit more about it, but you would click on visit website if you wanted to start a project and it will link to your Google Drive. All this statement says is that when you want to save to your Google Drive the work that you've done, you'd press this button. Uh, however, I've actually found that um, saving the project to Google Drive is completely unreliable. So what I want to encourage you to do when you are done is when you go to file, please save the project to a local file to load later. So the first thing that you should know is that you can record into here. If I press the screen button, it will begin recording my voice. I can stop it by pressing the same thing. You'll notice it keeps playing, but if you go back to the beginning, which you can do by pressing this button as well, button, it will begin recording my voice. So I can press spacebar to stop the play or voice turn to play as a general rule in editing programs. Because this project is the creation of like a sound scene, a sonic landscape, you are going to import a bunch of different sound files. So you click on import to do so. I have gathered sounds from freesound.org and I tried to find a puck hitting a, a post they don't have that, so I looked for a metal clang, and I would just have to kind of find that sound. If I couldn't, I'd have to make my own, like a Foley artist. So to use freesound.org, and you've registered with your your student number and your at pdsb.net email address and the same password that you'd use to log on to school accounts, you can click on these sounds, download them, and they will go into your downloads. Once that's in there, you can say show in folder and cut this out, control X, and place it in an intelligent place on the computer. Personally, because I'm at school, I'm just going to put it into the media art in folder, but you guys should always have a, the same spot where you're going to leave your sounds so that audio editor knows where to put it. So I've got my own folder and I can stash it in here, control V to paste. Now going back to beautiful audio editor, I'm importing, so it'll ask me where I can choose that file from. So I'll choose the file from this sound scene folder that I've already got. Let's get a body check in there. So I assess, say import audio. And there's a sound of somebody getting hit against the boards. I can add more things through the same function. I didn't find a lot of great stuff for this, but that'll have to do. This button is the selection button. So by using this, you'd click and drag things around. If I wanted this to happen more slowly, I can take this little sound dragger and extend how long it goes out for, and that slows down that body check sound. Okay, if it shows as blue, that means it's slower than it normally should have been, and if it goes red, it'll be faster than it should have been. All right, and so when it's black or close to it, that's your normal sound. So you can move tracks around using the selection tool. If you had a track that you wanted to duplicate, you could press the duplicate mode, and then anytime you click on something, it will duplicate that. If you want to split a track into several parts or split some of it and delete some of it and then smush the two pieces back together, you can use the split mode. To click on split mode, you usually you'd be zoomed in for this kind of thing. So zoom your zoom bar in, slide yourself over to see where where you'd like to cut things out of. Let's say I want this sound cut out, so I'd split right here and right here, and then I would use the remove section mode to click this middle point that I wanted gone, and that will remove it. If I need to, I can go back to the selection mode and drag this over so that it snugs up next to its partner. Now it drops below here, but that's not a huge issue. It's probably better to have a little overlap than to have silence. Don't bother with viewing the tracks in mixer mode. This 4-4 time signature lets you design 
uh, more like a music sense because you can change how this looks. So um, this is a beat one, two, three, four, and you can change in the settings how um, quickly that 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 tempo happens. So if it's really fast song, it's one, two, three, four. It'll happen quickly. If you have the grid tempo much slower, then it's one, two, three, four, etc. Clicking this function will snap your uh, pieces to the grid. So if I, it, you'll see it just hits that beat, uh, which could be very helpful if you're creating something that has a consistent rhythm. This button is undo, and then once you're finally done, you can download the whole thing as a WAV file or as an MP3 file. One neat thing about this is that if you're finding that you're happy with a bunch of your tracks and you want to kind of uh, combine them, merge them together, you can click this and it will render all the stuff that you've made so far onto just one track and that shows up as yellow right now. So it's got all the sounds that I've already got. Let me zoom out so you can see a bit better. And I can delete these these other layers now if I don't need them anymore, if I'm really solid that I want this as it is. So delete layer, uh, delete tracks, sorry not layers and that might help with your organization. Again, unless you want to try both ways, you can save the project to Google Drive. I would expect instead to save the project to local file for later load. You would click on this blue link and it would download onto your school computer or whatever computer you're, you're working on. So once this finishes saving, I would rename it so that it's clear what it is. Mr. W. Dot hockey scene. Dot audio project, and then you can cut that out of its location and paste it into the location that makes more sense in here. When you're ready to open it again. Uh, you'll find that you can make a new audio project from Google Drive, Beautiful Audio Editor. And it'll start as a random project, but you can go to File and Load Project from Local Audio Project File. And it's here that I'd go back to that file that I was just working on, load the project, and it should show up nicely. So now's for your creativity. Hope you guys have fun planning out what's going to work well. Think about the different parts of sound in a scene and consider as well who's going to be listening to this. You know, what kind of sounds are they going to expect or understand? Good luck.